Hey everybody, Zach here from the Envoys, and welcome to episode 32 of our RuneScape 2007 Road to 100 mil. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to be doing some agility, which I'm just going to wrap up here after this lap. I recently got 67 agility, which is not too bad. It's about halfway to 70 from where we were, and I the reason I didn't go right to 67 and show you that level was because I did go about halfway in XP, which was like 10k XP past that. As you can see, we got about, well, not about, we got exactly 65 marks of grace. Uh, I'm not going to go up to 70 because I do plan on doing agility again, and I will contemplate just getting an extra 5 or just using that 5 to round off the next load of it. I am going to head over to grace, buy some of those crystals, and then I'll head to the GE. I am going to meet you guys in the Rogue's Den. Alright guys, we're at the Rogue's Den. It looks like we're going to get 600 crystals, which if they're right around 800 right now is going to be like 4.8 mil, somewhere in there. If we're lucky, or 4.8 mil. Totally came out wrong. I meant to say 480k. Um, if we made 4.8 mil from that, I probably wouldn't stop doing that for a while. Uh, that's if they are 800 apiece. So let's see just how much they are after I unbox all of these. Um, oh, oh, I totally forgot you only had to click on one to get them to unbox. My bad. The crystals are worth a total of 464k. They're just under 800 coins apiece right now. But that's not too, not too bad, excuse me. We're going to make a pretty good profit from it. I'm going to meet you guys at the Grand Exchange where we're going to sell them. Alright everybody, we're safe and sound at the Grand Exchange. I'm going to sell these crystals. They probably won't sell right away. They usually don't, but I'll let them sit for a little bit if I have to. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Otherwise, we'll check the cash stack. Let's see. Uh, they didn't sell right away, so we'll let them sit. Alright guys, here we are at the Rich and Champas, which I, I never mentioned to you that I was going to. Uh, my mistake. I haven't. I just started, as you can see. I'm just putting my first boxes down. I'm in the Felled Up Hills Hunter area, which is south of Castle Wars. I did use a dueling ring to get here. I've decided to do some red chins because we did fairly recently get 63 Hunter on the Grey Chinchampas, which was nice. But the reason we got to 63 was to at least do some red chins. I'm going to do these until I want to get at least 65 for the next thing we do, but that's not that much money. So I'm going to get, I'm still going to get in 500, but I don't know if I want to sit here for 500 of them because I don't know how many I'm going to catch. I'm right at 63, which I do suggest getting higher than 63 to, to start these, but I'm going for it. So I think I'm going to just catch 400. We'll make like a 600k or so profit. Uh, I'm just going to meet you guys then when we get all those. I will be 65 Hunter, probably getting kind of close to 66. We'll see. Alright guys, I just have a couple more catches here, and then we'll finally be done with these chinchampas. I really shouldn't say finally, because it didn't take too long. Um, when I was grinding it out, 99 Hunter, excuse me, in RS3, um, I was getting like 400 chinchampas an hour when I did it. Clearly, I'm at a much different, I'm not even in the same game for that. But I was getting like 150 to 200 an hour, somewhere in there, I wasn't paying much attention. This took a little over two hours, so it had to be like 170. Probably should have paid more attention, but now that we've got all of them, I will head up to the GE to sell them. Alright everybody, we're saving sound at the Grand Exchange where we're going to sell these 401 Red Chinchampas. Uh, we're going to make a pretty good profit from it, plus the crystals that have sold. Um, we're probably, we might grab one mil right here, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we got 500 plus K, 400 K, so look, 970 K, not too bad. Uh, this will put us at, I don't know what this will put us at, let's check it out. The cash stack is now, hold on, let me move some stuff, examine, go to game, 28.6 mil, not too bad, we're above 28 mil. The next thing I wanted to try out is something that I may have jumped the gun on earlier in the series. I got to like 34, maybe 40 something hunter, and I tried to do Puro Puro. Um, now that I've done the quest, actually since I've done the quest, I haven't done it. So we're heading to Puro Puro, I'm buying some jars. We're up to 65 Hunter, so we can catch up to Magpies, which is one of them that will sell somewhat commonly. The other ones I'm thinking about catching are the Eclectic. They're worth a few K apiece, and they will sell fairly quickly. It's not too bad. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is buy at least this one Impling Jar to start, and then we're going to head over to Puro Puro with my Butterfly Net. I might turn it into a Magic Butterfly Net this time. I might not, just to give us a better excuse to come back, depending on how much money may we make. Excuse me. We will see in just a second when I meet you guys in Puro Puro. Alright everyone, I'm in Xanris right now, heading back from the bank. I have one Impling Jar, one Butterfly Nets, and one little bit of Stamina Potion, just in case I need it. I want to see kind of how much run we're going to use here. I'm not 100% sure, haven't done this in a little bit. Uh, right away, we're just going to catch a handful of Implings, exchange those for three jars apiece. 
once we get a full inventory, we're gonna go catch um, just a weak impling because if you didn't know, the imps that run around this uh, area, the regular imps, not the implings, they can release the first impling jar in your inventory. So if you just go catch like a baby or a gourmet, something kind of useless, and then it releases that one, it's not that big of a deal. You can then pick up your jar and you're all good. So if you didn't know that, it's always helpful to have like a baby impling in front of your inventory. That way you don't lose any valuable implings. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is basically catching mostly eclectics. I'm looking for magpies, but they're not that common. These e eclectics are probably like 4k a piece right now. Um, I haven't checked too recently. I probably should have, but I think we'll survive. The magpies I do know are right around 13k a piece. So I'm going to start collecting these jars. It's not going to take me too long. I'm going to get two or three inventories worth of these implings that I'm going to check in. We probably won't even get a hunter level. This is not good for hunter XP. If you guys are looking to train hunter, you shouldn't be here. We're, we're checking it out to see how much money we can make. I have already changed my mind. I am going to, since I saw this nature impling, try to get the jar generator, which just gives you 33 impling jars. It's a little simpler. It takes one nature impling, two eclectic, and three essence implings. You just exchange it for the jar generator. It'll be kind of convenient. It's it's similar speed to just collecting the jars, but I haven't done the jar collector very often, so I figured I should try it out to really get a good test. I'm gonna meet you guys when we've gotten a couple inventories of implings. All right, everybody, just showing you the second inventory here. I do believe I'm going to go try to sell these jars right now. Two inventories, not too bad. If you're wondering what that item is that just went in there, by the way, that is the jar generator, if you did not know. I'm heading up to the GE to go sell these, see if we can make a good profit out of it. All right, we've made it to the Grand Exchange. I should say before I go to sell these that there's a decent chance that they won't sell right away. Implings are not too popular to buy right now, so that's why I'm kind of iffy on it. That's why I only did two inventories to really check. But it looks like these are, I'm going to do 4k a piece because I believe they are lower than that. They didn't sell right, right away. I'm going to give it some time. Same with the magpie. I'll give them a little bit of time because it won't kill us, but we might lower them in a little bit. All right, everybody. I've decided to make a new test. I grabbed all the jars I had left from the jar generator, which is currently only at one charge. If you don't know, let me explain it to you quick. It comes with 100 charges, but it takes three charge per impling jar and one charge per butterfly jar. If you were to use all the charges, it will just disappear. Otherwise, you just have to go refill it. So since I'm at one charge, I'm just going to go get it refilled. What I'm going to try this time, though, is instead of catching a bunch of eclectic and magpie implings, I'm actually going to ch catch just a bunch of random implings, or excuse me, I was going to start off by doing that, but instead I'm going to be catching a nature, three essence, two eclectic, getting the jar generator and taking all of the jars out, and then repeating the process. We're going to sell the jars because I believe they're worth like 800 a piece right now. I think we can collect the jars kind of quickly, so that's what I'm testing here. I'd like to see if it's a decent moneymaker. If it is, it's probably a little bit better Hunter XP, because even though you're catching some weaker implings, you will catch a lot more of them this way. You're not even catching really that much weaker implings. You're still getting eclectic. Uh, in general, I think this is going to be more Hunter XP, but we are definitely testing it out. We'll see in just a minute. I will meet you guys when I get a handful of jars. All right, guys, so I've gotten a few jars here. I'm just getting the last jar generator going, and I'm going to grab the jars from it. It'll be another 33 of them. We've gotten a few hundred. We'll make a couple hundred K from it-ish. It uh, wasn't too bad, actually. I calculated that if they sell for about 800 a piece, we're probably making like 180 to 200 K an hour, which if you only have like 40 or so hunter, you can still catch a good amount of these imps and just trade those imps in for jars instead of doing the jar generator you'd still make probably 160 plus K an hour, which is not bad for a lower level, but I think it'd be smarter for us to just continue catching the implings. It depends if they have sold or if they are going to sell. I should also mention I did catch two magpies while I was doing this because I saw them and they're worth 13 K a piece. I figured I might as well catch them. It's, it's worth a shot. But um, now that we've gotten all these jars, I'm gonna head to the Grand Exchange and sell them, see what kind of profit we've made. So I will meet you guys there. All right, everybody, safe and sound at the Grain Exchange. Looks like we have a bunch of stuff to sell. Hopefully, we'll make a few hundred K from all of this. Let's see what we've got. The one magpie is sold. That's a good start. Let's see if the other three will sell. I believe I said I caught two earlier. I clearly made a mistake because I caught three. Uh, mm, those three sold pretty quickly, so we're up to 53 K. I want to drop these things down a little bit, see if I can get them to sell. I think 3 K seems like a good number. It might still take a little bit. Oh, actually, they sold right away, so that's good. Um, we can put these. I'm just selling these even though it says 68 coins a piece. It'll probably sell for like 800 or so. There you go. We made 182K from that, grabbed the money from this, and we have about 400K. Not about, almost exactly. Probably a little a little bit of coins over it, but I think 400K was enough to get us to 29 mil. Yeah, it was. Sweet, guys. We have just over 29 mil. Yeah, 64K over. Not too bad. 
looking pretty good. Let's let's move on to what we were doing next. All right, everybody, we're finishing up the episode here. The in-between episode thing, as you may have been able to guess, is going to be agility. Like I said, I was going to cut it into two parts. I figure let's get it done as quick as possible. I'm going right to 70 with this one. We'll probably get another 65 or so marks of grace. I figure we get around that since I think I cut it in half. I think I did it correctly. But um, I'm going to see you next time. We're going to be at 70 agility. We're going to have some other money makers to test out. I hope you guys did enjoy this time. I had a lot of fun. And again, I will see you next time. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and helping support the channel. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you would hit that like button and tell us what you liked about it in the comments section below. If you're looking for more videos like this one, then go ahead and join the cul-de-sac by clicking that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter at TheEdBoys. All links are in the description.